Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we will do another writing test on another specialized nib called the Architect nib. An Architect nib is not readily available for some fountain pen makers. So you usually have to ask a nib smith or a nib meister to grind it for you. And an Architect nib is usually ground in such a way that the vertical lines are thinner and the horizontal lines are broader. I'm not an architect, so I don't know how relevant that is to their work, to their line of work. But in this video, I will show you how a left-handed person writes with an architect nib. And is an architect nib something that is left-hand approved? So if you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Karen. I'm a left-handed fountain pen enthusiast. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and let's begin. So I have two pens that have the architect nib and I will show them to you right now. Okay, the first one is a 146 Mont Blanc and this is a pre-loved pen. I bought this from the marketplace in Facebook, the fountain pen marketplace. And the original owner had this ground to an architect nib. So when he posted this listing, he said that it's an architect EF nib. So the downward stroke is very fine, like an extra fine nib while the horizontal stroke is more of a medium yeah let's try this pen the other architect nib fountain pen is this platinum 3776 in the borgon or the wine red color with the gold trim and this one is like a bold sort of a broad architect nib and if you look at the nib right there you can see that wedge at the top part and that's how they grind it to reveal your thinner downward strokes and your more flatter or broader horizontal strokes <clears throat> Okay, so we will test these two pens on my ink journal or ink diary. And this is the Hobonichi Techo A6. And let's just look for a blank page. Okay, so I will use the uh, EF Architect on the right side and the uh, Platinum 3776 broad architect on the left hand page You can see how I write and the angle that I use is relatively in the middle so not too steep and not too shallow. I'm not sure if because of how I write the thin line or the vertical line 
is not as noticeable because I can see from here that they basically have the same line width or maybe the horizontal line is just a tad wider but basically these both look like it's extra fine and the way that I can write inside the boxes of this Hobonichi means that the nib width is small enough for me to write write small yeah so this ink by the way is from a blanc called around the world in ATB's blue yeah. this is how this architect nib writes personally I don't feel the scratchiness it also feels natural the way how I write it this way as opposed to the usual way which is at this angle so I'm not sure if okay so if I write using my right hand you can definitely see that the vertical lines are Okay, I don't know how to... I think you can see more variation here. Let me write... Okay, now it's different. So... <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be a left-handed writing video, so... Naturally, this is how my vertical lines look and this is how I write horizontally. So I pull back instead of pushing forward. It feels more natural if I write this way from the right to left. And maybe, yeah, maybe that's why it's getting a different uh, variation. Now let's use the Platinum Architect Nib. Hmm. Okay, so this is how... I, I'm skipping to the line part. Okay, so my downward strokes are broad and okay it's giving me complete opposite so this may not be an architect nib well okay interesting turn of events for this video guys so anyway let's continue finishing this writing sample Okay, so the ink that I'm using is just the Platinum Blue, which comes in this standard cartridge. So just to do a quick... Well, you can really see a difference between the two nibs. So for this one, I purchased this brand new from a seller in the fountain pen marketplace and when I ordered the pen and asked to have it ground to an architect, 
This originally came in a stub nib, I think. The seller brought it to the nibsmith and had it ground to the architect nib. And this is actually what it looks like. So, I mentioned that I write this way and because the nib is flat on this side, the downward strokes became thick or broad. Maybe because how I hold the pen. But when I changed my writing position, I aligned the pen or the nib vertically. You will get your thin line vertical and you will get your broad horizontal lines. But writing this way for me is unnatural. I'm a side writer, that's why maybe that's what causes the variation. If you are left-handed and you are an underwriter, then this type of architect nib will work for you. And I have this writing sample here that I write using an underhand writing position. This isn't really natural for me, so this writing style is more me. So this is side writer and this is under writer. So it depends, I guess, at least for this pen. Now for the Mont Blanc, the architect nib is not as obvious. I think it's still on the extra fine side. And you can also see in the nibs that the platinum had a more noticeable architect nib grind compared to the Mont Blanc. One last tip for you guys is I think it's also good to inform your seller or to inform your nibsmith that you're left-handed so that he or she can consider how you write as a lefty. Are there any other left-handed folks here who use architect nibs and they have these types of writing variations? Please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!